I'm Jason Rainey and I'm International River's new Executive Director. I'm excited to join the International River's team and honored to have been selected to lead this effective organization. 20 years ago, I got my start as an activist working to end apartheid in South Africa through a college divestment campaign. And since then, I've worked as an educator, researcher, and organizer for human rights and environmental initiatives in places such as Russia, Zimbabwe, and Nicaragua. For the past six years, I've been back in my home watershed, serving as executive director of the South Yuba River Citizens League, or CIRCLE. Working at ground zero of California's gold rush, CIRCLE has stopped new dam proposals, created legal protections, and negotiated in-stream flows from existing dams that are more protective of water quality and river biodiversity. I've helped build a movement that includes citizens, tribes, artists, landowners, government scientists, and dam owners working to decommission two federal dams and restore wild salmon runs. I look forward to applying my experiences in California's water politics in support of the many dam-affected communities that International Rivers works with around the world. I'm eager to take on my new role as Executive Director of International Rivers and to be part of the fight against environmentally destructive dams while also promoting truly sustainable solutions to the world's water and energy needs. Since our founding in 1985, International Rivers has been helping grow and nurture the movement for healthy rivers and human rights. Today, thanks to International Rivers and our global network of advocacy groups, whenever a large-scale river infrastructure project threatens communities and the environment, there is organized resistance. The challenges that lie ahead are many. Proposed dams on the Mekong River in Southeast Asia threaten fisheries that feed millions of people. But proposed dams in the Amazon would harm indigenous lands, biodiversity, and one of the world's most important ecosystems. China's investment in large dams at home and abroad threatens the health of hundreds of rivers and millions of people around the world. But we're up to the challenge. We have decades of experience and the strength of a global movement behind us. In the coming months, International Rivers will expand our regional offices in South America and Southeast Asia so that we can better serve dam-affected peoples in these hotspots. We'll also continue to build and strengthen our network and strengthen environmental standards around the world so that the worst projects don't go forward and others are built in a responsible way. We'll also be a leading voice in the global discussion on the best approaches to meeting our energy and water needs. As we amplify the message that healthy rivers provide irreplaceable services to human and ecological communities, we'll also promote the less risky and cleaner alternatives that already exist for meeting the needs of the many millions around the world who still lack access to safe water and reliable energy. I know that together we can protect the world's endangered rivers and the current and future generations of people who depend on them. Please visit International Rivers on Facebook and let me know your thoughts on this growing movement to protect rivers and rights. Thank you for your support and I look forward to hearing from you.